Now I'm just going to put the resolution up and then recapture the video. Okay, I've got a high resolution now. Um, now this build is interesting for a few different reasons. It was released internally to Microsoft testers on the 1st of June 2001. Um, I like to say it's interesting for a couple of reasons. First one is that we now have the full complement of lunar color schemes that would end up in the final version of XP. Now they've got different names here. So they've got default which is lunar. Then we've got homestead which became olive green and metallic which became silver if I recall correctly. Now rumor has it that Microsoft were experimenting with a lot of different themes at this point but they chose these two to include in this build and together with the original lunar theme these are the three themes that stayed in XP um, so another reason this build is important is because after this build there aren't really any other changes to, to the user interface at all so for all intents and purposes visually this build is identical to the version of XP that shipped now that was build 2600 but actually the build number was 2545 and Microsoft decided to um, increase it to, so that it was a nice round number I guess so development effectively had stopped at build 2545 and that was the release to manufacturing or, or build 2600 so this is 2481 so actually we're not that far away um, now this is the last build of XP that I'm going to be looking at because there aren't really that many changes from here on in the only thing I did find out was that in the next compiled build which is 2486 um, that's the first build where you get the sample pictures yeah so we get some sample pictures in this build but in the next compiled build we actually get the sample pictures that ended up in the final version of XP so these ones weren't in XP this one was but these four weren't it's quite funny that that includes the word Vista in hindsight um, yeah and I mean there were just small incremental changes after that the release candidate was build 2505 so again not that far away really and there was no visual change in that build um, it was however the first publicly released build since beta 2 um, and again build 2520 the only thing that comes up there is you get the ability to remove Internet Explorer but I mean that's not really something that you know is worth demonstrating and again build 2526 release candidate 2 oh, that was 27th of July so that's less than two months after this build was compiled no new, no new features you could remove IE um, and beyond that Microsoft said that release candidate 2 was primarily about bug fixes and fit and finish work which is essentially um, that essentially sums up the rest of the builds from here on in so it was literally just bug fixes and showstopper bugs that they were trying to find before they released it to manufacturing so for all intents and purposes this is Windows XP as it as it um, as the final product really except for the build number and very very minor updates uh, yeah I mean this you know this is you this is, looks exactly like XP the shortcuts and just the balloon pop-ups 
don't think I captured that, but I got a balloon pop up about the tool, etc. Um, yeah. So when I started doing this series of videos, I started with the Whistler Beta One build. So what I'm aiming to do now is actually go back and fill in some of the gaps, so to speak. So go back to some of the builds before the first beta version. So some of the ones that you know that are are really 2000 esque, and and just see how things progressed at that period in that period of time. Um, and I mean, if you trace that all the way back, you end up at Windows Neptune, which if you don't know about it was a uh, basically a project that Microsoft had where they were trying to create an operating system that would be a home edition of Windows 2000 uh, and they also had another project at the time called Odyssey and the team working on that were making the next business version of Windows so Neptune was the next consumer version Odyssey was the next business version and um, perhaps by good fortune Microsoft decided that they were going to cancel both projects and actually combine the teams and they would work together on a new version of NT that would be marketed at both consumers and businesses and that's of course Windows XP so you've got Windows XP Home Edition and Professional Edition um, and I mean who knows what might have happened if that if Microsoft had not taken that decision things could be a lot different now but anyway so like I said there's not much to see in this build so I've shown you Winver and the version numbers other than that we're so close to the release to manufacturing that there's virtually no difference apart from little bug fixes which obviously you can't really demonstrate so with that in mind I'd like to thank you for watching the series of videos I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have it's really fun to just look at the process behind the development of operating systems I think especially Windows because it's the it's the family of operating systems that I'm most familiar with and that I like the most so it's quite nice um, so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in another series of videos I'm not sure what I'm going to do next yet but there'll be something coming along so yeah see you then